4.1 Have to Form Has or have plus to plus infinitive You have to go to school She has to study hard He doesn't have to wear a uniform We don't have to take exams Does she have to study maths? Do they have to leave now? Use We use have to to express strong obligation. You have to work hard if you want to succeed. And general obligation based on a law or rule. Children have to go to school until they are 16. Have to is impersonal. It doesn't necessarily express the opinion of the speaker. The doctor says I have to lose weight. Have to has all verb forms. The verb must has a similar meaning but doesn't have other verb forms. I had to work last night. You'll have to study hard. She's never had to work. I hate having to get up on winter mornings. 4.2 Have got to Have got to is common in British English. It is more informal than have to. It is more spoken than written. I've got to go now. See you soon. I'm in trouble. You've got to help me. Have got to expresses an obligation now or on a particular occasion soon. He's 21 now. He's got to learn to be more responsible. I usually start work at 9 o'clock. But tomorrow I've got to start work at 8 o'clock. Have to expresses a general repeated obligation. I always have to tell my parents where I'm going. Teachers have to prepare lessons and correct homework. 4.3 Modal and related verbs These are the modal verbs. Can Could May Might Will Would Shall Should Must Ought to they are used before other verbs and add meanings such as certainty, possibility, obligation, ability and permission. You must be exhausted. I can swim. It might rain. Form There is no S in the third person singular. She can ski. He must be tired. There is no do, does, don't or doesn't in questions and negatives. He can't swim. What should I do? Most modal verbs are followed by the infinitive without to. The exception is ought to. You must go. You ought to see a doctor. They have no infinitive and no ing form. Other expressions are used instead. I'd love to be able to ski. I hate having to get up early. 
they don't usually have past forms. Instead, we use them with perfect infinitives. You should have told me that you can't swim. You might have drowned. Could is used with a past meaning to talk about a general ability. I could swim when I was six. We use was able to or managed to to talk about ability on one specific occasion in the past. The prisoner was able to escape by climbing onto the roof of the prison. Use. We use modal verbs to express attitudes, opinions, and judgments. Compare. That's John over there. That might be John over there. We can use all of the modal verbs to express possibility or probability, but every modal verb has several meanings. For example. I must post this letter. You must be tired. Could you help me? We could go to Spain for our holiday. Four point four, obligation, should, ought to, and must. Use. Should and ought to. Express mild obligation, suggestions, or advice. We often use "I think" or "I don't think" with "should" and "ought to." You're always asking me for money. I think you should spend less. You shouldn't sit so close to the television. It's bad for your eyes. You ought to be more careful with your money. We often use "Do you think?" in the question. Do you think I should see a doctor? What do you think I should wear to the party? Must expresses strong obligation. It can express the speaker's opinion. I must get my hair cut. You must go and see your grandmother. Must is associated with a formal written style. All visitors must show proper ID. Books must be returned to the library before the due date. Have to, and must. Have to and must. Sometimes mean the same. I must be home by midnight. Means the same as. I have to be home by midnight. But sometimes have different meanings. Must usually expresses the feelings of the speaker. I must buy my mother a birthday card. Tommy, you must look after your toys. Have to often expresses an obligation that comes from somewhere else. You have to work hard in this life. Visitors have to report to reception. Have to is more common in question forms. Do I have to do what you say? Must I is rare. Don't have to. And mustn't. Don't have to and mustn't have completely different meanings. Don't have to expresses an absence of obligation. You can, but it isn't necessary. When you go into a shop, you don't have to buy something. You can just look. Mustn't expresses a negative obligation. It is very important not to do something. You mustn't steal other people's things. It's wrong. Four point five. Permission. Can, and 
be allowed to. Form. Can is a modal verb. Use. Can expresses ability. For example, I can swim, but I can't dance. Can and be allowed to express permission. For example, Can I park here? Are we allowed to park here? Can is more informal than be allowed to, and is usually spoken. For example, you can borrow my bike, but you can't have the car. I need it. They can't come in here with those muddy shoes. You're allowed to get married when you're sixteen. Are we allowed to use a dictionary for this test? Four point six, making requests. Can, could, will, and would. We can make requests using can, could, will, and would. For example, Can I speak to you, please? Could I ask you a question? Will you help me, please? Would you pass me the salt? Would you mind passing me the water? Do you mind if I leave early? Could is a little more formal than can. Could I, and could you, can be used in many different situations. Could I try on this jumper, please? Could you tell me the time? Here are some ways of responding to requests. Excuse me. Could you help me? We can respond with, "Sure," or "Of course," or "Well, I'm afraid I'm a little busy right now." Would you mind opening the window? We can respond with, "No, not at all," or "No, that's fine," or "Well, I'm a little cold actually." Four point seven, making offers, will and shall. We use apostrophe double l, the contracted form of will, to express an intention, decision, or offer. Come over after work. I'll cook dinner. It's Jane's birthday today. Is it? I'll buy her some flowers. Dave will give you a lift. Give it back, or we'll call the police. Shall I, or shall we, is used in questions to express an offer, a suggestion, or a request for advice. Shall I carry your bag for you? Shall we go out for a meal tonight? Where shall we go?